Are you looking to create a new Google Search Console account for your website? Well, if that's the case, you have made it to the right video. What's up, y'all? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new around here, I'm Mariah from MariahMagazine.com. And on this channel, I help simplify things like SEO, websites, tech, and I dive into tools and recommendations to help you grow your online business in a way that works for you. So in today's video, I'm gonna be walking you through the easy breezy tutorial for setting up a Google Search Console account. So Google Search Console, it's just, it's an amazing tool. It's a free tool created by Google so that you, the website owner, can get kind of like an inside look at how Google sees your website. So once you have Google Search Console set up, you'll be able to see what what queries or like what keywords Google is associating with your website. You'll be able to see if there's any errors on your website when Google crawls it and a lot more. So let's just get into the tutorial and walk you through how to set it up. Okay, so in order to set up a Google Search Console account, you can basically go to Google and Google, <laughs> Google Search Console. Okay, so you can click on this, not that, you can click on this top one here or you can click on this bottom one here, it doesn't really matter. So when you click on it, you're gonna click the Start Now button and what that's going to do is it's going to make you sign into your Google account. So in order to have a free Google Search Console account, you have to have a Gmail account. And then I will say what makes this process like way easier is if you sign into the same Gmail account that you have your Google Analytics set up with. It's going to make verifying your Google Search Console account a lot easier. So if you don't already have Google Analytics set up, pause this video and click the video down in the video description, set up Google Search Console first, make sure that it's tracking and then come back here and set up Google Search Console because it's going to make the verification process a whole lot easier. So once you log in, you're going to be taken to a screen that looks like this. If you already have a Google Search Console account and you want to set up a new one, basically you can click on your account right here in the top left hand corner and then click add property and the same box is going to pop up. Okay, so basically we have two options here. We can either set this up as a domain property or we can set it up as a URL prefix property. In order to set it up as a domain property, you need DNS verification. Okay, so that means like adding a TXT or a text record to wherever your domain is hosted, okay? So I know that this sounds really complicated, but go ahead and pop your URL in here and click continue. If your domain name is registered through GoDaddy, Google Search Console makes it really easy actually to set up this domain property with GoDaddy. If you don't have your domain registered with GoDaddy, you're going to have to do it manually, okay? So you can read more about how to do that. If all of that looks a little overwhelming, we're actually going to set up a URL prefix property instead. So you can click this button here, which is gonna take us back to this screen. So in order to set up a URL prefix, we have to find out what our primary domain name is, okay? So just look at your website from the front end and copy that URL in the URL bar and then paste it right in here. So basically every single domain name has four different variations. It's got a HTTPS and an HTTP variation. So that's two different variations. And then each of those variations has a www variation and a non www variation. So that means each domain name has four different variations to it, okay? So we want to figure out the reason why we're copying and pasting is because we want to be able to see which of these four variations is our primary domain name variation. So you'll see for curiouslyguided.com, our primary domain name is HTTPS www. Okay, so there really isn't any right or wrong here. I would say in terms of SEO, we want our primary domain name to be secure. So we want it to be an HTTPS 
version. If you don't have the S, that means that you don't have an SSL certificate. That means that your website isn't secure and that might end up hurting your SEO rankings, okay? So you can figure all of that out. I'm not going to dive into that in this video, but basically as long as it's an HTTPS, it doesn't really matter if you have www or non-www. So we're just gonna go ahead and click continue here and it's going to verify the property. So if you have already set up Google Analytics for this URL, like you already have Google Analytics tracking, you might already got hit with a screen that has a green check mark and it says, hey, cool, like we've already noticed that you have Google Analytics set up. If you didn't get hit with that already verified thing because of Google Analytics, there are different ways to verify that you own this domain name, okay? So there are different options here and you can click on these down arrows to learn about how to verify with these specific methods. If we want to verify using an HTML tag, we can copy this code right here and then we're gonna paste it in the header section of our website. So how you do this is going to be very dependent on which website platform you're using and like which theme you're using. So if we bring up some WordPress websites here, basically, Sometimes the theme automatically in the theme customizer options has like theme settings and then header and footer scripts. And then you can go ahead and paste that code into the header script right here. If your website is using Divi, you can look up the Divi theme options, click integration, and then paste it right in here. If you can't do that, then there's always plugins that you can add like a header footer script plugin to be able to add it to WordPress. If your website isn't on WordPress, you can go ahead and Google how to add a code to the header of your website. But the platform that makes this a little bit easier is Squarespace. So Squarespace, you basically would just click analytics and then click search keywords and then you can just click this button right here to connect your website to Google Search Console. Okay, so Squarespace makes it easy for other website platforms. It could be a little bit more difficult. That's why I say if you have Google Analytics already set up on the website, it makes it so much easier. So I'm gonna take a second, go install my Google Analytics tracking code on this URL, and then I'm gonna come back here and click verify. So after I hit verify, I got this cute little little green check mark and now we're going to go ahead and go to the property. So this is going to open up the property with the HTTPS www. Okay, so that's great. That's our primary domain name. But the next thing that we have to do, it's kind of a pain in the butt, I know, but this is just best practice, okay? So if you don't want to do this, I guess you don't really have to, but best practice is to now go in and basically claim that we own the other prefixes for that domain name. So basically you could come back here and click add property. We're going to do the same URL prefix, paste it in there, and we're going to, we're going to remove the www, click continue. Now it's going to go ahead and verify the property. This should be really easy since we already have it set up. And now we're going to do it just two more times for the non www version. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and delete the S click continue. This is going to verify it. And like once you have it verified that you already own the primary domain name, adding all of these should be pretty simple. So we just have one more to add here. Paste that one in. HTTP non www. Click continue and go to property. Okay, so you're not really gonna pay attention to these. It's just best practice to say that you own all of them. But in terms of looking at data, the one that we're mainly going to look at is our primary domain name, which is this one, the HTTPS www version. So if this is your first time setting up Google Search Console for a website, you're probably not gonna see any data right away, especially if your website's new. So you might have to come back in a couple days, maybe even a couple weeks so that Google's, 
Google Search Console can start collecting some data, okay? So, but the next thing that I want you to do is click the video in the description box below because now we have to add our sitemap to Google Search Console, okay? So a sitemap is essentially like a roadmap of your content that makes it easy for the Google bots to crawl your content and therefore index your content and therefore show your website in Google Search Results, okay? Okay, so I'm not going to dive into sitemaps in this video, but click in the video description box below. Click on how to add your sitemap to Google Search Console. I walk you through the entire process. And then I also have a video that walks you through like a dashboard overview of Google Search Console. So just like, what are you looking at? Where to find certain things and all of that. So definitely also click on that video below in the video description box. So that's it for today's tutorial. I hope you guys found Found this video helpful and if you did give it a really quick thumbs up truly the simple click of the thumbs up button goes a long way with the YouTube algorithm and letting YouTube know that you found my video helpful and therefore pushing my videos out to more people and I really do appreciate it and if you're not already subscribed to the channel what are you doing hit that subscribe button turn on bell notifications and I will see you in the next video bye